Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking you through my version of the song Happiness by McFly. Before I do so, uh, if you've liked this video and found it useful, if you could give it a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do so, that'd be fantastic. So, this song's got a kind of a, uh, a Latin samba kind of feel to it. Um, I'll get to that at the end of the lesson, at the end of the rhythms that I'm going to show you through. Um, the main kind of groove in this song um, there's a couple of grooves really. Um, it starts with a kind of um, kick on all four. One, two, three, four. Snare on two and a four. Eighth notes on the hi hat. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Occasionally you hear this what I call black current at the end of the bar. So you get one and two and three and black current. One and two and three and black current. I'll put the notation up here. You can have a look at this. I mean, it, it's not the main part of the song, but you, you do quite often hear at the end of the uh, the phrase or section, um, and it's just a, it's a quite a nice little one beat drum fill to add in. So it goes like this: one and two and three and black covered. One and two and three and black covered. And the black current, both hands together, black current. So you're going to go both right left. Up to speed. And you hear that kind of throughout this song, really, kind of every now and then, every four bars, every eight bars. Just have a listen. The main groove, uh, when this song kind of kicks in, you've got a kind of a funky groove between the hands. You've still got the back beat on the two and the four, but you've got a kind of this feel going on. You've got. So we've got eight of notes on the hi-hat, quarter notes on the one, two, three, four on the kick. So we've got that drive in, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we've got some little ghost notes with our left hand on the snare. So then it kind of drops out to this sort of kind of samba pattern and you hear like this bell pattern come in, which is really nice. It, it goes into a kind of a, like I say, a samba groove. Now for this, you could play 16th notes on the snare drum. This is going to be quite tricky if you're not used to this kind of style. Um, you can play 16th notes on the snare drum. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. On the two and the four, you're going to put a floor tom in there. So you're going to go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. The kick is still going to be on the one, two, three, four. Okay, if you were playing um, samba music. Uh, in a say a samba percussion band, um, this would kind of typically follow the surdu pattern, okay? That kind of that kind of pattern, okay? But obviously, we, we, we can't play that, we're playing a Latin kind of groove on, on the drum kit, so we're going to play the one, two, three, four, still with that floor tom on the two and the four, sounds like this with the kick. And what gives this kind of samba kind of feel to this groove, or sorry, what gives it the samba kind of groove to this feel is going to be the accents. Now, again, if you're not used to this kind of stuff, it might be a, an absolute nightmare to start with. We're going to accent the one e and a, two e and a, and then we're going to add some accents to our left hand. So we're going to go, the accents are going to go one e and a, two e and a, three. So obviously accents mean play louder. So the accents are gonna go uh, right, right, left, 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 right. 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 Up to speed. Again, we've got that kick on all four, so we've got that one, two, three, four. Right, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, right. That kind of 
kind of feel. It's a really, really nice groove, just generally as a, as a sambri kind of groove. And you can add a few little buzzes at the end. You can play around with it. You can you can put a double kick in there, add your, your left foot on the two and the four, so your feet are going. I'm getting a bit carried away now. You can, I, we can keep going and going and going, but um, that's your general groove. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Then it goes back into that kind of funky kind of groove. One and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and one. Etc. etc. Feel free to add some crash cymbals, some drum fills, go around the kit, spice it up, do your own thing, um, and just have a blast with it, guys, really. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. Um, yeah, let us know how you get on. See you soon.